Hi, greetings from Fez in Morocco, where I'm traveling at the moment. It looks like the UK train strike might cause us some problems this week. We're intending to fly back to Paris and then take the, the train from Paris to London. But the train strike, which is directly related to inflation, uh, could cause us all sorts of problems. The, the inflation issue, of course, is that there's a, a strike for higher wages among UK train workers. Europe continues to struggle. Low deliveries from Nord Stream is causing a theme that we talked about a year ago, which was peak ESG and energy regression to kick in big time. And of course, the energy regression is they're having to switch back to coal as a function of excessive dependence on uh, Russian gas, as a function of increased renewables. We support the increased renewables, but they sh they've really found themselves at the mercy of Putin. And I blame Putin for this very much, that he exploited their dependence on Russian gas as the offset fuel to renewables and used that to invade Ukraine. The fault ultimately is with Putin, but of course the Europeans were once bitten won't be twice shy, will be twice shy. Uh, fool me once or whatever that thing is. Um, and so we will see a structural shift in Europe, possibly towards more coal over time. But keep in mind, they've maintained carbon markets. So this is a, a short term, let's say medium term solution to Europe's energy problems. In the US, uh, similarly, well, was Europe bad policy? Yes, because you became dependent on Putin and you can blame Putin for that. In the US, we're talking about a federal gasoline tax holiday. That would be the first repeal of the gasoline tax since the end of Prohibition, 1934, but also the Great Depression, unfortunately. And that's just terrible policy. The US gasoline tax is already too low. The issue there is, of course, it discourages efficiency, which is what we want. So very low gasoline prices uh, basically um, allow people to drive huge cars that are inefficient. You can drive a small car from A to B. It has the same economic impact, essentially depending on what you want to carry in the back of your pickup. But of course, most pickups have nothing in the back and it's just purely a set fun function of people wanting to drive big vehicles. The gasoline tax should be higher to allow for the true cost of oil and that should include an element of security, which is less important now to the US, but has been very important in the past. Um, you know, just to allow for the fact that you do need to maintain a major military to maintain energy supply. And that should be reflected in a higher tax for gasoline than the US currently pays. What's the government doing? Exactly the opposite. Well, that would be good news for the refiners if it wasn't for the export ban threat. Of course, the uh, lifting of the gasoline tax comes before the, the export ban has gone anywhere. So it'll be a positive week, I think, this week for refining and the oils and the markets due to bounce. Um, you know, over half the uh, S&P 500 is now in very oversold territory. And I think we'll see a bounce um, this week. The oils have obviously sold off heavily. And that's a lot of that has been government issues over the past couple of weeks and threats, windfall tax and everything else. And with the uh, idea of a federal tax cut actually being positive for the oils, I think they'll have a big bounce, as, we, we, as, as I just said. Uh, just on Exxon, interesting that they're changing their reporting requirements. That's a positive. That's an ongoing positive uh, in, in, news flow from Exxon has been incrementally positive under the new board. Uh, what they're doing simply is splitting downstream into energy products, chemicals and speciality products for better reporting disclosure. And that's a big positive. That's about it from me from Fez, uh, the country where they turn back time. Down there is uh, 9,000 alleys of which 30% are dead ends. There's no cars. Uh, it's only donkeys and humans down there. The alleys are about two meters wide and it's a wonderful place to visit. I recommend you visit yourselves here at Fez in Morocco and bring your kids, it's tremendously educational. Have a great week.